Hi there, what's up? And Vishal from my web and in this video, we are going to work on the backend part of this user registration page. So in the last video, as you see, we worked on the content validation of this registration form. As you can see, now we are going to work on the backend part using and sending all my back, uh, frontend data using Ajax. So how can you do that? Let's see. So I'm just going back to my code editor. And after that, I create a command which is for create ajax request and then i create with the dollar dot ajax and then in this circle braces i start with sir uh, curly braces i mean the object so in this object i need to pass some parameters like the U, uh, url type what kind of data we are sending like the get or post and then we uh, sending our data in data attributes so let's start with this url so uh, I will create a action folder in in the root. So action slash user underscore. Sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, reg reg registration underscore action dot php. That will be fine. Okay. Uh, after that, I uh, write a type. And what kind of data I was sending? A uh, post. Okay, and then I need to define the data. So before sending the data, I create a variable. Okay, so let I create a variable now. Uh, define a variable fd, and in this variable, I, I assign like the, my form data. So dollar dot sorry dollar hash, and in this hash. I put my registration form ID. So, as you can see, uh, here we have my registered form ID. So, just copy this and paste it in this line. And dot and make it as realize. Okay, and then in this data, I assign, uh, put this variable. Okay, and then I define the data type of this uh, of my form data so what kind of data we are sending we are sending json okay after getting a success response we i run a function i run a function and in this function we got a response and for the now i just print this response in my console so console.log which is response let's see the save and i create an action folder as you can see i i already created my action folder so in this action folder if you don't have then create it in the root folder and in this action folder i create a new file which is user underscore okay let's copy this file name sorry this let's copy this file name and let's change the name action.php yeah that will be fine and I start my php code and I echo json underscore in code and I print my all the post request because I sending the my post for I, I sending post data okay so all is looking good now let's check in the browser so I refresh this page once again I reset the all, whole thing as you can see, we got uh, my validations. So Vishal, Maury, Vishal, something like this. Okay. Some random number, random password. And I click on the register. It's not working. So because I, I not checked. Okay. Now click on the register. Now we all my all validations are gone and as you can see I got a response from the back end as you can see at here. So for checking this thing also in the net you can go with the go in the network tab and check with the payload data and also check the preview. So you got the response as you see. Okay. So what is the next part? Now I'm going going back to my action dot action dot PC file. Okay, I just remove this line and now my first thing is to include this crud.php file in my in my this action.php file so 
okay i'm not included including this as a require okay i only require a uh, once a time so require once the dot slash and my for uh okay what is this the class name is a class so the folder name is class and then in this class folder name we have this crud.php so we have this crud.php okay i create a new object okay it has the object like the dollar user obj equals to new thread okay after this i create a insert array for ins for insert all the data into my database so insert array otherwise you can also create this as define this variable as a insert user data okay and then i create a, create a blank array for the now okay i create a, created a blank array because i i don't have actually we don't have any table just related table into my database so i'm going back to my PHP admin and just little bit zoom in and click on this new and then i create my user underscore id my first name last name my email and i put uh, add more five more columns email and then my mobile my password and then user underscore status my created underscore at and updated at okay so now let's define um, define my type so first name will be variable character last name is also is variable character email is also same as the variable character yeah mobile mobile is also the password will be variable character user status i set it as a enum because i just want to put only to or to to kind of the data like the zero or one so i define it here as a zero comma one and created that i create variable character but for the updated that act i go with timestamp here we have timestamp because the reason of choosing the uh, time stands for the updated at is whenever you try or you, if you do any action in your user, user profile then this time will be updated automatically without any uh, my external code okay so let's define the length secret so for the created ad i okay with the 20 okay let's make it 30 the password will be okay i okay i'm okay with the 50 because i stored this password okay this is wrong password okay i stored i stored my password in the md5 format mobile number i'm okay with the 15 or the email i'm okay with the 155 or 190 last name is also i'm okay with the 190 190 and for the now i put this the blank and uh, I make it a uh, automatic incremented and make it as a, in a primary key now let's click on the save okay sorry I forgot to put the table name so is it, is it, this is my users table okay this I'm click on this save and now as you can see we have this users tables in my my web commons for ecom database so just go back to your code editor okay I change the line and I started my first underscore name and i create with a dollar okay i start with the trim function and then i start my dollar underscore post my first underscore name okay i just copy this for multiple times and i change the name this is the last name email mobile password and status also one or one 
and created act created underscore act I put this uh, date and then I store y for the month and for sorry y for the error month date and the hours minutes and second okay and, and then I change my last and change the uh, I mean change the post value name also so last name and then email mobile and this is my password I also check okay okay I change the function which is that md5 for the now okay and then I can easily store my all the things into my uh, uh, database so I create a variable mm. okay just cut this line I mean cut this variable and let's define as the data and then I paste it over here which is my insert user data at here and then I copy this my object name and create an ob object and I call my insert method of this data so and then I define my first first table name I define the first name is the I mean the my table name first parameter is first name and then I pass my data if if insert data will, if this is working fine then if this insert visual data is working then I create a variable which will be my output or status okay true or success and a message okay so uh, here we have this message user registered successfully and then I send I also if you want then I can also send my user underscore ID also okay let's see what we got okay this is my if condition now i need to put my else condition okay i just copy this i copy this output and paste it over here and this is for the fail and i put it as something went wrong something went wrong and I remove this line and then I print this output in the JSON, JSON, uh, JSON data type so for these things I just echo encode I use the JSON encode method and then my output let's see the save and check the browser Now I just uh, insert my all the so refresh this page and now I put my value Vishal Mare Vishal at direct gmail.com the pass it uh, password is one two three four sorry this is my I just put my some random number one two three four one two three four if I click directly click, click on the register without checking this thing we got an error as you must agree with terms and condition and here is nothing happened so click on this agree with user terms and condition click on the register okay column not found or no column status okay mm. okay this is user user underscore status so i'm just going back to my code data here we have this my user underscore status okay the save now for the now, I don't need to refresh this, my refresh my page. Just click on the register button again. So as you can see, we had this success message. User, user registered successfully, success and one. And you can also check in the, your console. As you can see, we got this response. And for the checking this thing, you can click on the simply click on this browse. 
and now as you can see we have my first data of my users so as you can see in the my password column as you can see we have an in encrypted password it's not a human readable okay so after getting the successful response i'm just going back to my front end code i mean the, my jquery code and i comment this line and check with my if my response dot status so as you can see we just define as a status it's 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 equal to it's equal to success then i print a message in my uh, random selector like in my message so i create a uh, selector hash meshes and then i put my some html content and i create a bootstrap alert class so i dev i created dev taking the class name which is the class class name will be alert success plus my response dot message as you can see we have this message um yeah this user registration okay user registration successfully okay and then i'll make a concatenation again i'm not and i close my div and after that i need to reset my form so i just copy this line again and paste it over here and then dot reset okay not this comma i mean dot okay for this thing i need to create a i mean the this kind of this uh, selector in my i mean do, dome content in my form so here we have this uh, form so at the bottom of this this uh, button so yeah that will be cool thing if i'm going with this okay let's make it at here let's save and check in the browser refresh click on the register it's asking for the email proper email so i created a proper email gmail.com if I, I click on the enter button and then you ask for my uh, some required things so we shall okay i put it like this john doe john at direct gmail.com some random number password click on this register click I mean check this box and click on the register so as you can see i got my success response but but it's not in, in the right place so what what can i do so i create another div class at here mm, yeah i just copy this thing and paste it over here and also i take this class at here mm, yeah okay this close this and that will be fine okay so re refresh this space now let's check out once again and like uh, like the test last test test at direct gmail.com so random number pass at it one two three and pass at get one two only okay let's check in the register okay so first of all i check this box and match the password again i click on the register so user registered successfully okay and my form is reset automatically so as you can see how can you register my all all my user users data information in my database if i refresh this page i can see we have this three data, users data the vishal john and test so in the next video we will check the duplicacy of the email and the mobile number from our database and we put my put all my error message in this front end code also so let's let's see in the next video how can i do that for the for the right now let's say with me happy coding